Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. If you remember well, in the previous session, we made a new app and we did the settings for the new app as our blacklist and now in this app we are going to block the IPs that are set on the list from entering the site first I need to make a function and a link to the blacklist page okay here I make a function called blacklist of the type request and then I say return okay return render request to to the back page slash blacklist dot HTML I need to make my page I go to the back and say blacklist dot HTML and here I call it blacklist okay I need to define it in the URL I copy a URL L and I call it let's see blacklist it needs to connect connect to the blacklist function okay now in the master I need to set its link here after comment I set the link okay blacklist that's it the name would be blacklist okay all right now I have added blacklist and now it shows this page to me and I can see it over here let's go to the categories page all right let's see in the categories a page like this we want to make a page where on the top we would have the registration section and at the bottom a list for the IPs that have been blocked okay now I want to set up my page here uh, in this section in the subcategories I call it what should we call it blacklist that's it and then blacklist with the address okay black list here it would be blacklist and let's see I have an ID and an IP okay and uh, one ID and this is the IP field okay save I go to the blacklist blacklist looks like this now okay I need to add another section the add section like the categories here okay here we copy the add section only the upper part higher up there we copy this and set it in the blacklist 
Okay. That's it. And let's see how the black list looks now. Okay, I shouldn't have set it here. It is an inappropriate place for it to be. I should set it here. Now here I need to add the IP and then that IP won't be allowed to enter my site. Okay, now I organize the names. Here it would be add IP and the placeholder. It would be IP required would be activated. It is obligatory. All right, let's check the appearance of the site. This is how it looks. The IP is added here and the admin has a delete button so that he can delete the IPs and then when we log in we check the list to see if the IP is on the blacklist. If it was, we won't allow it to log in. If it wasn't, we do allow it to log in. Okay, that's it for this session.